Oh, Josh, do me a favor. Uh, grab 50 feet of shoreline from the truck. Shoreline? Thank you. Uh, Mike's truck. Josh, got ya. Oh, damn. <laughs> I got him. <laughs>
going with a 90 into the T. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put a, another 90 here. Come here. You put a 45 oh, there. Okay. Bring that across here. Down. Elbow down into our T. Another 90. Go this way. Another T with a, you know, pick, make this a 90. Go straight down into the T. Come across and then go into your, your equalizer. It's going to be a work of art and it's going to be your work of art today. All right. Josh, the other Mike, and Daniel, they're putting in a boiler. I saw it. You saw the boiler? I went there to get the sawzall back. Oh, it's going to be really nice when um, it's done. I got this box yesterday. This is an RO system. Some company sent it to me. And they want me to make a video about it, an unboxing video. And the objective is we're going to put that there. And that way we have good filtered water that we can make our coffee with. And I would really like to find a way to give it ice. Filtered ice. Filtered ice. I didn't know, I didn't, you didn't know it, was, it was a thing? I don't know. Anyway. Were you surprised that Josh came in on early today again? No, I mean, it's, he has no choice at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, is when is he going to be late again? It's not as, as, as if, it's just when is the point. I'll give it February. February? Wow, that long, huh? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Uncensored channel. I'm going to make a video about this. Peter's going to help. You have a list with the order from supplyhouse.com. Part of his responsibility is, is making sure we have inventory. So far. What do we got? Three quarter black caps? Yeah. Make sure you order the bluefin because they're much cheaper than the domestic. Yeah. Yep, exactly. All right, we are back. It's just a fill rate. Oh, that looks so nice. It's a little lower to cut, off, cut off this. Uh, that looks really nice. Very, very nice. Very nice, nice, yeah, nice. killed this thing, man. He was awesome. Yeah, very nice. Checking and working. <laughs> All right, so Josh went to lunch at 11.52. Nine minutes. He's got nine minutes. Josh doesn't know the rules. Well, it actually is an unwritten rule. The faster we get done, the faster we get to go home, generally. Or we get to go to lunch. We're yeah. going to Mocha? Oh, yeah, we should all go to Mocha. We're going, we're going to go to Mocha. <laughs> we're going to go to Mocha. And I'm going to send him to a service call for Steam. <laughs> you have a Steam service call? Yes, I have one at 12 o'clock. He's reading the book. That's the one where the, the radiator that wasn't pitched in the third floor uh, bedroom, it's surging again. And there's no heat in one bed, one of the kids' bedroom. It's on my schedule. On his third floor? No, no, no one of the kids' bedroom has no heat, oh, but the boiler's surging again. Oh, the boilers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. The not reason getting, he's not getting water on the third floor. No, no, no. no. Because that hasn't been insulated. Yeah. It's a long run. It's very Correct. insulated in there, but it has the pitch, except in one spot because it does have to go below a diffuser, so the pipe is flat. Oh. Yeah. But the diffuser comes out of the wall, and the pipe's running underneath it. There's nothing I can do. That line has to be the height. You it's playing with your Leatherman. Yeah. Look at this. I don't. I think mine's cooler than yours. Okay. Yours could be cool than I mine. I have changeable tips. Yours could be cool to my mind, but mine was was given to me for my excellent sales performance for a certain company that we don't install anymore. Really? Yeah. They sent is me it this. Is written on here anymore? It's not written on it. <laughs> it is not written on here, but they sent it to me because I we installed so many of their, of their systems. What does it have? Triangle tube. <laughs> Close. <laughs> See, that's nice. I have, I have those too. You have interchangeable tips? Let um, me show you. So there that is. And guess what? It comes out. <laughs> Mine's America. Mine is free. <laughs> Even the blade. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, do I have one of those? A, you don't have a knife? I don't know. It comes, close it. You have to close it to pull out the knife. Yeah, you have a knife. Oh, damn. It's sharp, sharp. Look. Wait, <gasps> I think... I could do some damage to Hamas with this, by the way. I think it'll shave your hair. Will it? I think so. This thing is sharp. Oh, yeah, it's sharp. 
Think I should bring it on my plane tomorrow on the way to Florida? You know, it's... Uh, yeah, look at it. Oh, look, you're shaving yourself. That's how I know you don't have to care. Hamas has just declared war on every American. Have they? Yeah. They're peeing in our pork. They're peeing in our pork? Oh, yeah, so that's why I don't eat pork. Oh. All right, guys. You want to see this masterpiece that Daniel and Mike and Josh put together? Let me show you. It looks really, really nice. Let me start on the other side. Here we go. There it is. The Burnham Steam Axe STMX 125. We came up with... Oh, Josh, do me a favor. Uh, grab 50 feet of shoreline from the truck. Thank you. Uh, Mike's truck. Josh, got ya. Oh, damn. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our piping. Uh, we have a single pipe coming out of the top of the boiler, unlike the previous one that had two. This is their five-section boiler. We came up with, I think it was 36 inches or 30, yeah, 36 inches. Uh, the purpose of having the pipe so high like this is to prevent any water that's boiling uh, from reaching the mains, right? We have a main there, one there, another one there, but this also helps create more drier steam. This is called a drop header. We used a Vega Mega Press 2-inch 90 and a Street 90 right there. She's good. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. We came down and we picked up um, our first T to one steam main. We elbowed across, picked up the other steam main, elbowed across there, making our way back to the equalizer, but we stopped, picked up the last T for the last main. Continuing across, we put a, a 90, a short little nipple, and a 45, and then we went right on top with our Hartford loop, picking up our wet return. This right here is our equalizer that allows the boiler outlet and the condensate return to be same equal pressure. We adjusted the pressure troll to be slightly under two with a differential of 0.5. So this is a subtractive pressure troll. So that will regulate pressure between 0.5 and 1.5. Over there we have our sight glass and our low water cutoff. Uh, we took a little nipple out of the bottom left-hand corner, rolled the 90 to point to the back with another nipple. There's our two by three quarter steam heel T. Another nipple, which I believe is six inches. And that allowed our Hartford loop T to be in line with the top, with, with the middle of the cyclist. We didn't let this discourage us. We put that vent damper on a horizontal. We took the, the, uh, the adjustable smoke 90 and used a seven by six um, smoke bushing to connect to our existing breaching. Really, really, really came out nice. Everything is nice and hot, nice and toasty. We would insulate everything, but it's still back ordered. I was supposed to get it today. Uh, we have two boilers now to insulate our header piping, one from yesterday that was on the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy channel, one that we gave that that family who hasn't had heat all season long, we gave them some heat and we charged them absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing on the house. Best way to celebrate Christmas is to give someone heat. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're done. We just got to do combustion analysis. Daniel's got the, uh, the FLIR i7 thermal imaging camera. We can verify that everything is nice and toasty. In case you're wondering, my HIK Micro B20... Well, that died. doesn't want to start up anymore. <laughs> it sucks. There was something that occurred off camera earlier during the install, which I really wish was on camera. We were trying to think of ways where we can get Josh with, you know, hey, Josh, go to the truck and get the pipe stretcher. Or, hey, Josh, go to the truck and get a bucket of steam. And he goes, he goes I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not like that. I know my stuff. I was like, Josh, what do you want to bet that not am I going to get you, but I'm going to get you on camera. He goes, nah, man, you ain't getting me. Nah, man, nah, nah, nah. I was like, okay, you'll see. And right when he least expected it, I had him get 50 feet of shoreline from the truck. And he goes, all right, 50 feet of shoreline. I go, yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not having fun in the work that you do, 
If you just have a job where you're just over broke, perhaps you need to find something that you enjoy doing with fellow co-workers so you can have a great day. At the end of the day, we all have fun at Pipe Doctor. And if you are tired of working for a mediocre company, I got openings in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm looking for an independent guy who can run some water heater service calls part-time, got to be your own boss, and you make some good money. Email me, mike at mikeypipes.com if you're interested. Also, if you're in the central Florida area near Orlando and you're an HVAC service tech, we need to talk. Email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Be well, God bless, stay safe. <laughs> you didn't put me on the thing, right? Yes. No. Oh, thank God. Oh, I don't care. You were gone for an hour huh? for lunch, but now you're eating lunch now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't have to eat right now. It's just that, like, they had a line over there at the one song. But you were gone for an hour. Oh, yeah. I emptied the, I emptied the stuff. Ah, okay. Very good. Yeah, okay. I had to get rid of that. Okay, no problem. This try one, to try can... make sure you keep a sec an extra uniform in your truck so you're not walking around like uh, oh, yeah, for sure. someone who's a hired help for the day. For sure.